Hello everyone. This video would focus on simplifying radicals with coefficient. Before we go over this example right here, please feel free to check out the description box below for the link of the other series of topics related to radical expressions. Before we go over with all of these examples, let's have a review on the parts and definition of radical expressions. <laughs> Please remember that these are the parts of every radical expression. The first part is the radical symbol. The reason why this is called radical expression is because it is an expression that contains the radical symbol. Our A here is called the coefficient. A coefficient is a number multiplied to the radical expression. And the letter N here is called the index. This tells you which root you're looking for. Please remember that if the value of the index is not written in there, it means that that invisible number is 2. We also have a letter C. And this letter C is named as the radicand. A radicand is the value that you are taking the root of. So this expression that we have here is read as A times the nth root of C. So this is read as square root of 36. So if we wanted to know what is the value of square root of 36, we can go ahead and equal this whole expression to x. So this is read as square root of 36 equals x. Now we are going to rewrite this into its equivalent exponential form. This expression that, or this equation that we have here means that x squared is equal to 36. What is x? So if you notice, our x here becomes the base of the exponential form, while our index of 2, which is invisible, becomes the exponent in the exponential form, and our radicand, which is 36, will become the answer to the exponential expression. What we're trying to do right now is we're supposed to determine a val the value of x such that when we multiply this x by itself twice, it will give us 36. Meaning if we have blank times blank equals 36, and it should be the same number. So then these two numbers would be 6 times 6. So 6 times 6 is 36. And so we can go ahead and rewrite this as 6 squared equals 36. And so this tells us that our x is 6. So then this square root of 36 then will equal to 6. So that's how we evaluate radical expression. So these are the parts and definition of radical expressions. Okay, going back to the problem right here, we're supposed to simplify negative 7 square root of 45. So the first step that we need to follow is to divide the radicand with the prime number starting with 2 and continue dividing with the rest of the other prime numbers such that we can get a remainder of 1. So in this case right here, we have um, 45. So I will show the work on the side here. I'm going to divide this by 2. By the way, I will put the list of the first 10 prime numbers on the side for your reference. So we start with 45. Since 45 is not divisible by 2, so we can go ahead and divide it by 3. So I'm going to divide this by 3. And so um, 45 divided by 3 is 15. And then we continue dividing. So 15 divided by 3 is 5. So I put the 5 here. And so 5 is divisible by 5, which is another prime number. So I go 5 divided by 5 is 1. And so we have a leftover or a remainder of 1. And so these numbers that we have here are the prime factors for 45, which is 3 times 3 times 5. So I, I go ahead and write that up here. So we have a negative 7 times the square root of the prime factors are 3 times 3 times 5. So that we go ahead and group together. Now we remember that for a square root, there is an invisible index of 2. So there is an invisible index of 2 right here. And so we go ahead and group the numbers together by 2 and we get them out of the radical symbol. So this 
two threes here or this group uh, two groups of three here can get out of the radical symbol it becomes three and this five doesn't have a partner so we keep it there so that we go ahead and rewrite this as negative seven we had a three here which already uh, out of the radical symbol so we will multiply that with the coefficient so times three and then we keep the rest of the remainder or the remaining numbers that doesn't have any partner, which is five. And so we go ahead and simplify this further. We have negative seven times three is negative 21. And then we have a square root of five. So this is the simplified version of negative seven square root of 45. Now let's move on to the next example. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, unpause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. Again, the first step is to divide the radicand with a prime number starting with 2 and continue dividing with the rest of the other prime numbers until you get a remainder of 1. And so I'm going to divide 216 by 2 here and so um, until I can get a remainder of 1. So these are the prime factors for 216. So we're going to write it out and simplify. So I'm going to show the work up here. Okay, to simplify this, we're supposed to partner them up. Again, remember, there is an invisible 2 here because a square root has an index of invisible 2. So we're going to group them together by 2 and they go out of the radical symbol. So I'm going to show the work up here. So this pair of two will go out of the radical symbol. This pair of three will go out of the radical symbol. So then we can go ahead and write this down as five, which is the coefficient times the two, the one that go, uh, went out of the uh, radical symbol and the three, and then all the rest will be placed inside the radical um, symbol. That's two times three. So I'm going to go ahead and simplify it further. So this is the simplified version of 5 times the square root of 216. Did you get the same answers as this? Yay! Good. Perfect. Now let's move on to the next example. Okay. So we go over with the first step. Divide the radicand with the prime number starting with 2 and continue dividing with the rest of the other prime numbers until you get a remainder of 1. So we're going to divide 336 by 2 until we get a remainder of 1. I'm going to show the work on the side right here. So these are the prime factors for 336. So I'm going to go ahead and write that up here. Okay, so then we are going to go ahead and simplify this. Since this is a cube root, we're going to have a group of three numbers. So in this case right here, this three twos here, will go out of the radical symbol. I will put that up here. I put two. And so if you check, there are no other numbers that come in three. So all the rest here will be placed inside the radical symbol. So I'm going to go ahead and simplify this. That would be two. That's the coefficient times the two that went out. And so all the rest will be placed inside the radical which would be uh, 2 times 3 times 7. So then I will simplify this further. So this is the simplified version of 2 cube root of 336. Now let's move on to the next example. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, unpause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. Again, the first step is to divide the radicand with the prime number starting with 2 and continue dividing with the rest of the other prime numbers until you get a remainder of 1. So I'm going to show the work here. When I divide 540 by 2, I will show the work on the side right here. So these are the prime factors for 540. So I go ahead and write out the prime factors here and I'm going to simplify it. Okay, since this is a cube root, the index is 3. So I'm going to group three numbers together and they go out of the radical symbol. So I group them together 
I put them out, so that would be uh, three right there. So this comes out. We have a invisible, um, again, remember, if there's no number as a coefficient, that's actually one. So I can write negative one times the three right there. And so I go ahead and write the rest of them inside the radical symbol. Those that do not come in three, that would be two times two times five. And so I'm gonna simplify it further. So this is the simplified version of the negative cube root of 540. Did you get the same answers as this? Yeah! Good. Perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.